budget room decor. All of the things I'm making in this video are using products that I found in my local pound store and you can totally make these things with stuff from a dollar store or any kind of discount store. I try to make these DIYs kind of open-ended so you can use your creativity and if you can't find the exact items I'm using you can definitely find something similar. All of these DIYs kind of have like a metallic theme going on, it just accidentally happened, I guess that's what I'm into at the moment. The first thing I'm going to show you how to make is this wall hanging and this kind of just came to me when I was in the one pound store. I saw these necklaces and I wanted to make something cute out of them. You will need three necklaces of your choice and a piece of dowel which you can paint if you would like, I painted mine. So all you're going to do is lay out the necklaces in the arrangement that you'd like and cut off any jump rings or closures. I'm using scissors here but please use like jewellery pliers, I just couldn't find mine. So here is my painted dowel and I'm just using some very strong adhesive glue and going ahead and gluing the chains in place, making sure to pull them really taut so that they stay in the position I had them on the table. Make sure that you do this so that when you hang it up it won't be lopsided and then all you do have to do to hang it up is just add a piece of string at each end of the dowel and then you can put it on your wall and I think this makes a really cool decor piece. The next DIY only cost me two pounds and some spray paint. So all you need for this is a mirror and a chain and you can make this amazing chain mirror. I found my plastic tabletop mirror from the makeup section and the chain from the jewellery section of course. Start by prying the stand off the mirror, this is just really easy just to pick off. You don't need this so you can get rid of it. Next you're going to want to check and make sure that your chain is going to fit nicely around your mirror. For this mirror, the chain fit perfectly on the little plastic bits where the stand came off, so this worked really well for me. You can totally leave it as it is, or you can do what I'm doing and paint it. Just make sure to put some masking tape on both sides of the mirror before spray painting. Once you've completely covered your mirror, you can go ahead and take it away and spray paint it outside. And if you have any little extra spray paint on the mirror, you can remove it with some nail polish remover. Then go ahead and preferably using jewellery pliers again, remove the jump ring and go ahead and attach your chain. For this I'm using some hot glue because this worked really well for me but you can use super glue if you prefer. After you've left it to dry you should have something that looks kind of like this. You can go ahead and put it on a nail on your wall and display it in your bedroom. Next up is a jewellery hanging plaque and this one is a little different from the ones I've normally made because you can remove the dowel and you can actually string like rings, bracelets and necklaces onto it. So let's get into making it. For this project you'll need a plaque, I'm using a Christmas one and you will need a wooden dowel. Also you'll need some copper pipe clips which you can get in the plumbing section of your hardware store. Go ahead and paint your plaque white, if you don't have a plaque you can use just a piece of wood and then glue your copper pipe pieces onto the plaque, make sure they're lined up carefully. The dowel is going to sit in between these so make sure the distance between them is much shorter than the length of the dowel so that you can take it out and it can rest on the copper pipe clips as you can see here. So all you have to do is feed your piece of dowel through the clips and then you can go ahead and put rings, bracelets and necklaces on it. I think this is a really nice and very minimal way to display any of your jewellery and it definitely would make a really nice gift for someone if you decided to do that too. And finally I want to show you guys how to make this bowl and I guess you could say it's kind of anthropology inspired. The idea I was going for when I was making it is make it look as messy as possible so it looks like you tried to make it look neat as I don't know. <laughs> you know when you spend like an hour making perfect beachy hair so it looks like you haven't spent any time on it? Yeah, that's this bowl. <laughs> So if you want to try and make something like this, you're going to need a bowl, I got this in Poundland obviously, and some liquid gilding or some project enamel, and also you'll need a very tiny detail brush. 
So what I'm doing here, so I'm just using the project enamel in this gold color and I'm creating lines along the bowl and I'm making sure that the lines themselves are straight and they connect all the way around but they're kind of wobbly if that makes sense. They've just got little tiny wobbles in them. They're not very neat. That's kind of the look I was going for. By all means, if you want to make this neat, you can totally do that. You can use masking tape or you can do polka dots or whatever you want, but this is how the bowl turned out and I think it looks really cool and kind of, you know, I don't know, Urban Outfitters anthropology inspired. <laughs> Those are all of the DIYs I have for this video. I hope you guys liked them. Do let me know if you're gonna make any of these by telling me in the comments down below. And let me know what your favorite item that you've ever found in a pound store or a dollar store is. And as always, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and check out my social media. Those will be linked down below. And that's everything. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.